Mr. Deputy Speaker, I have a motion. Uh, maybe you could put on the screen. That the City Council requests the other Greater Toronto Area Municipal Governments, as well as the Province of Ontario, to give a consideration to adopting similar legislation to prohibit the possession, sale, consumption of shark bean and shark bean food products. The last part is kind of overlapping or repeating what Councillor Bernadette already moved. So we could omit that too if somebody amend that. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, two councillors, Councillor Kristen Wong Tam, Councillor Glenn DeBearmaker. You're taking great leadership. Uh, and I understand the concern that the, our Deputy Mayor says, uh, you know, what if it becomes all legal uh, fight and the cost of taxpayers' money? And they, I will address that point too. You know, as we know, we human beings are very self-centered and very selfish creature. So we are very subjective. If it's a good thing for us, we don't care. We just take whether it's a food, whether it's a property, whether it's an environment. It's extremely important that uh, today this council, City of Toronto Council, approve this uh, recommendation and send a message to all around the world, not just the nearby uh, municipalities. You know, I just uh, heard that, I didn't know, but I heard that the uh, councillor Chris uh, Wong Kim said the thousands of uh, calls of uh, sharks in the water. And I'm not surprised. Human beings, we have the highest intelligence and we abuse our highest intelligence to become so selfish to make more money. They don't care about 10 years from now or 200 years from now, as long as I make money, come into my pocket. That's the human beings overall. You know, as we know, the uh, fishing uh, industry, the uh, high tech is uh, so advanced, they could pinpoint one shark or 10 shark, 1,000 sharks. So it's not no time to talk about the tradition, this is my grandchildren's wedding, or this is my grandparents' birthday. Tradition important, but if it's against the environment, we have to go and take that route, not the selfish. So it's very uh, timely, and the concern that uh, our deputy mayor said, you know, it's already, we're not uh, wasting taxpayers' money. Often we stand up and we say, we waste the taxpayers' money as if the Toronto Council is so good wasting taxpayers' money and tons of gravy. And even the uh, outside consultant, they failed to find any gravy, right? We're not wasting taxpayers' money. For example, Mississauga, Brantford, Oakville, they already adopted, okay? Now, Mrs. Agar Mayor is the highest uh, opinion poll I saw the today's paper. Mrs. Agar doing very good. So now our appendix in the recommendation, there's a grace period. The last one, I will read it. Despite section two, a person may, prior to September 1, 2012, possess, consume, or sell shark fin or shark fin food products if the shark fin or shark fin food product is lawfully present in the city of Toronto on the day this bylaw comes into force. So we have a grace period almost one year. I cannot expect to see any legal uh, conflicts or wasting taxpayers' money in another year, but we are sending very clear message and requesting the provincial government, the, our recommendations say uh, federal government, please stop this uh, uh, importing uh, shark beans. So we are sending very clear message to the uh, marketing, to the fishing industry throughout the world. The best city, Toronto, we all love. If we send clear message, in Toronto, we don't allow people eating shark fins. And then I'm sure there's so many other urban centers around the world. Hey, Toronto, Canada doing that, we might as well do it. It's very, very important. And I'm so glad that so many people are here, which we all support. It shows Torontonians we care about environment. We are very law-respecting citizens. When we move this motion, I don't think uh, the, um, the 
the municipal license, they're knocking on the doors and are you eating shark fin? No. I have great respect for trust. Councillor Cho, we're at five minutes. Would you like an extension? Support to adopt the uh, councillor, I mean, deputy mayor's uh, recommendation. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cho.